We saw how to compute the coordinates here. What we now need to do is create these points in our drawing in Blender. So what I've already done is I've duplicated a point and I've given it, make sure your Z coordinate is zero, but I've given it the 22.5 Y. Now I know the X coordinate needs to be zero. The way I showed you how to create a vertex here that cuts a line in half is take this point, duplicate it, shift D. Now I have grid snap on. I'm gonna hit X to negative enter. So that just moved the point over here. Now I'm gonna do F to fill. Uh, you can pay attention here to make sure you do have two vertices and one edge. You didn't create extra vertices by doing this. Uh, once we have this, we visually have the intersection. I'm switching to edge select, selecting both the horizontal and vertical edge here. And you can see two edges are selected. That's what I want. CAD, uh, intersect selected edges. And when you go back to vertex mode, now uh, you should have the vertex exactly where you want it. And it should have cut that edge in half and made it two edges. So I'm using shift to multi-select, delete vertices. And I just want to be sure that there's actually one vertex here. I selected it. It's only you're only going to know if you have duplicates if you're working in x-ray mode. You need to make sure you have that on. I do have one vertex. And I'm going to go ahead and just make sure with G, I'm going to grab it and move it. And you see that all, both the edges I thought were connected are actually connected. So there we go. I succeeded in cutting this. Now the reason I couldn't use cut in half is because I already created a corner here. If I would have created both corners, I could have cut this in half. However, the next points you're about to put in are not midpoints. So you're gonna have to add these other points in. There's a few ways to do that. Uh, one way, you can subdivide, you can absolutely subdivide. Let's go ahead and select just this one edge. Uh, let's see, I got on edge, subdivide. Uh, you could make more than one cut. Uh, I'm just going to go one cut for now and I'm going to go back to vertex select. All right, so I achieved one of my goals, which was to add an extra vertex and cut that edge in half. However, my vertex clearly doesn't have the right Y coordinate. However, adding a, uh, correcting the Y coordinate is super easy because I know what it needs to be. The Y coordinate 18.85, I'm doing that one. That's where it needs to be now. Go back to edge select. I'm gonna subdivide again. Back to vertex mode. So here's my midpoint. Of course, the Y coordinates are wrong, but that's okay. I just did the 1885. Now I'm doing 1335. All right, and you can do this. I just like to make sure that what I'm looking at is actually uh, what I think it is, and it is because I have everything connected right here to that one. I have two edges connected to the one vertex. I selected it, make sure I only have one vertex, which I do. Uh, from here, of course, I had to make the box. Well, you just, I'd probably go with E for extrude, which duplicates and attaches an edge at the same time. You do obviously need to be careful where you put this. Um, I'm just hitting left click, extrude, left click, extrude and you do need to connect it back, and then of course intersect these properly. That's obviously not a box, nor is it the right size, so you need to do this way more precisely. I'm just showing you very quickly one way to do this. And of course, make sure all your Z coordinates are zero. Sometimes it can be useful to change your view. Just go with a flat view to see if anything is above or below where you think that it is. Because again, when you're in top-down mode, you don't notice your Z coordinates are different. You cannot tell.